Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, we started designing this scratch card design using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And this is where we are right now. Now, in this video, we will add the functionality of this scratching effect using JavaScript. So let's get started. <laughs> The first thing we need to do is we need to reference the canvas. So here we can see we have these canvas elements and we have this ID of scratch card one for the first canvas. So let's go ahead and add the functionality for this first canvas and then we will add it to all the other canvases. So let's reference this scratch card one. So here let's type let canvas equals document dot and since we have an ID, we can just type get element by ID. And here we can just add the ID. So I'll just type scratch card one. And then we need to create another variable for the context. So let's type let. And let's give it a name of context. And let's set it equal to canvas dot get context. And we need to set the context to 2D because this is a 2D effect. And then let's go ahead and create a function for initializing the colors. So let's tap const and let's name it init and let's create an arrow function over here. And uh, here let's go ahead and type context dot fill style. And we need to set it to a color. So for now I just type red over here. And uh, then we need to type context dot fill rect. So this will fill the rectangle with the color. And here we need to add these values. The first one is the x value, then we have the y value, and then we have the width and the height. So for the x and y, let's type 0. So we need to start it from this top left side. And then we need to type 300 for the width and 100 for the height. And now let's go ahead and call this function. So I'll just type init. And now we can see that we have this red color for this card. So now we can go ahead and delete this background color from here. And now we can see we have this uh, background color for the card. And when we drag over this area, we will just erase this color. But now we need to create the functionality of dragging. So for that, let's create a variable first of all. And let's create a variable called is dragging. And uh, let's set it to false by default. And now let's add some event listeners to the canvas. So let's type canvas dot add event listener. And uh, first of all, we will add an event listener for mouse down. And uh, here let's create an arrow function. And we'll get some value over here and I'll just call it event. You can call this anything you want. And when we press the mouse down, we need to start the dragging process. So we need to tap is dragging and we need to set it to true. And then we need to go ahead and erase this color. So for that, we'll create a function and I'll just call it scratch. And in this function, we need to pass the position of our mouse pointer. So we will get the position from event, which we are getting from here. And we can just type event dot offset x for the x axis and event dot offset y for the y axis. But now let's create another event listener and uh, let's type canvas dot add event listener. And let's listen for the mouse move event. And here also we'll get some value. I'll just call it event. Now this mouse move event listener will be fired when we move the mouse around the screen. And when we move the mouse, we need to check whether we are dragging. So if we are mouse down and also mouse moving, then we need to call this function. So first of all, let's add an if conditional and here let's tap is dragging. So we need to check whether we are dragging. And if we are dragging, then we need to type scratch. And we need to pass this same value over here. So I'll just copy this code and paste it over here. And then we need to add another event listener. So let's type canvas dot add event listener. And we need to listen for the mouse up event. So when we are not pressing the mouse button, then we need to set the is dragging variable to false. So let's type is dragging equals false. And we need to do the same for the mouse leave event listener. So let's type canvas dot add event listener mouse leave and uh, here let's create an arrow function 
and here let's type is dragging equals false all right now the last thing we need to do is we need to create this scratch function so here let's create the function so let's type const scratch and here we will get the x and the y values from here so let's call it x and y over here and now here the first thing we need to do is we need to set the context global composite operation and we need to set it to destination out so when we set the global composite operation of the context to destination out then when we drag over this area the color will be erased right now the next thing we need to do is we need to create a circle shape so here we can see we have the circle so let's go ahead and uh, type context dot begin path and then we need to type context dot arc for the circle and here we need to provide this argument we need to pass the x value the y value the radius the start angle and the end angle so for the x and the y we are getting it from here so let's type x y and then we need to add the radius so you can add any number over here i'll just add 24 and then we need to add the start angle and i'll just set it to zero and then we need to add the end angle and for that let's type 2 times math.py so this will create a circle for us and then we need to type context dot fill right now the next thing we need to do is we need to go back to the style or css file and we need to target all the canvas elements and uh, let's type canvas and we need to set the position to absolute and now we can see that the code is not being displayed and the canvas is on top of the scratch card so let's go ahead and see whether the scratch effect is working so let's drag over this area and now we can see that we are able to scratch and the color is being erased now we don't have the cursor set to grabbing so let's go back to style or css file and let's cut this from here and let's paste it inside the canvas and now we can see we have the grabbing cursor right now let's see how to add this effect for all these scratch cards so let's go back to the main.js file and we need to add all of this inside a function so let's select all of this let's cut it from here and let's create a function and let's call it create scratch card and let's create an arrow function and let's paste all the code over here inside this function and now we need to call this function and we need to pass two values over here the first one is the canvas id so instead of hard coding this value over here we will just get the value from this argument so here i'll just type canvas id and here let's type canvas id so we'll get the canvas id when we call the function and we'll also get the color so here i'll just type color and here instead of red i'll just pass the color so whatever color we provide in the function call will be added to the scratch card all right now let's go ahead and call this function for each of the scratch cards so let's type create scratch card and first of all let's add the id so we have these ids scratch card one two and three so let's type scratch card one and then for the second argument let's give it a color and for the first color let's set the value to 006d77 and here we can see we have the first scratch card and uh, the scratch effect is also working all right so let's go ahead and call the function for the other two scratch cards so i'll just duplicate this and here for the second one let's tap scratch card two and three and let's add different colors over here so here i'll just tap a3 c5 b e and then for the third one let's type 8338 ec so here we can see we have all these scratch cards and uh, we are able to scratch for the code so that's basically how you can create this scratch card effect using html css and javascript so that's it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day
Oh, 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 oh,